Premier and Finance Minister Dr. Diolanda Smith is concerned about the newly added chapter on financial services in the Draft Overseas Association Decision, or OAD, document, which refers to convergence of legislation between the European Union and the overseas countries and territories. The Overseas Association Decision document is a legal instrument governing the relationship between the European Union and overseas territories. During the 11th Overseas Countries and Territories of the European Union Forum in Greenland on September 27th, Premier Smith stated that his government is unclear about a reference to convergence of legislation related to financial services between the European Union and overseas countries and territories in a newly added chapter on financial services. He said the language is inconsistent and not in keeping with the text agreed between the member states and overseas countries and territories in a joint position paper signed in New Caledonia in 2011. He said the joint position paper appropriately called for a recognition of overseas territories and countries' regulatory achievements in the area of financial services as opposed to convergence of legislation between the overseas countries and territories and the European Union. Premier Smith is not the only overseas territory leader who is concerned about the new financial services chapter in the OED and its implications. Cayman Islands Premier Makiva Bush said there is a pressing need to change the document because if enacted, the convergence would seriously damage the financial services industry in the overseas countries and territories. On Wednesday, speaking at a press conference about his trip to Greenland, Premier Smith said the European Council is currently reviewing the document. The 11 OCDU Forum was also a significant event as it focused on the revision of the Overseas Association decision that will govern the future relationship between the 26 overseas countries and territories and the European Union. The draft OAD is currently before the European Council who are reviewing the document in preparation for its adoption sometime next year. In a GIS press release, Dr. Smith said the OCT leaders were able to discuss the important revisions of the OAD that will undoubtedly affect their relationship with the EU. According to the Cayman Premier's office, the UK government has promised to offer its support to change the document as, a ma as the matter goes to the Council of the European Union for finalization. The Overseas Association decision document is expected to come into effect next year.